my name is Angelica Spino and welcome to my move out video or dorm vlog or whatever this is room tour room tour this is a room tour so we have been affected by something known as coronavirus here at UCI so currently being not forced but highly encouraged to move out of our dorms before spring quarter starts so we are in finals week right now and it's currently Monday and I'm moving out of my dorm. It's very unfortunate that this has to happen. Um, I expected to live here for a full year. If you don't know, I go to UCI. I live in the Middle Earth Towers in a triple. Oh, goodness, it's so windy. And I have to move out. So this is me getting all my stuff out. This video was originally supposed to happen at the end of spring quarter, but it's happening now. And we're just gonna roll with it. It's okay, next year I have an apartment with my current roommates, so shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's just sad to see it go. You know, this is like my first time be like living alone and being independent. And I feel like I didn't really get to live that out. It's my video, I hope you enjoy it. Sorry if it's messy, we're all kind of packing and moving out. So I'm going to start with a quick overview of the room coming in from the hallway. This is the door. We had our names and a picture of ourselves on the door, just in case you didn't know who was living there. And this is the general setup of a triple. This is my side of the room. I had all my decorations, my bedding, and more decorations all over my desk. It looks really messy, but in my head it was organized, so yeah. And this is the view that I had from my window. Out here, you can see the dining hall down there. There's tents right now, so you can't really see it because it was raining. Um, then you can kind of see um, Engin School of Engineering. So there's some of the buildings over there. I had a couple classes, but not too many. So it doesn't really matter where you live your first year. Like, I guess, yeah, it's easier for STEM majors to live in Middle Earth because there's a lot of the science buildings close to you. But honestly, either way, you're going to walk a lot. So if your plan is to not walk to, if your plan is to have short distances to classes, that's not going to happen. There's a parking lot right over there. Um, I don't really know who uses it. I do not. So again, overview of the triple. Sorry if it's messy. You know, we're currently all moving out. This is what the sad ceiling looks like. It kind of makes you depressed when you look up at it. So don't look up at it. This is the door to the bathroom. Um, we have two sinks in the bathroom. I recommend bringing your own soap because the soap they have is pretty janky. We have hooks for our towels, and that's our suite mate side of the room. They have their own hooks, their own door. That's the maintenance door for the cleaning lady to come in. Cleaning lady is only supposed to come like once a week, but she honestly came like twice a day. <laughs> so, yeah. So when you walk in, there's the two sinks, and then there's two toilet stalls. Again, she cleans them like twice a day, so don't worry, they're clean. Then there's cubbies to hold all your stuff, one for each side. Originally, there's supposed to be like four people in each room so there's four spaces um but there's only three of us so we just utilize all four spaces however you want here's the shower so first there's a curtain for a changing room and this is the actual shower part we bought a bath mat because the spillage in here is absolutely horrible so bath mat yes invest it was only like i want to say like six dollars on clearance at the target at utc so that was pretty good Again, overview of the bathroom also there's no paper towels to wipe your hands so bring a towel please for your hands again this is the door you can see one of my roommates <laughs> side of the bed it comes with like a trash can type of thing we didn't really use it because we had our own trash cans it comes with a mirror on the door that's the door to the bathroom by the way and then I'm still looking at the mirror okay then here are the wardrobes, so this is mine and one of my roommates on this side, and then my other roommate is on the other side next to her bed. So the wardrobe has two sides, two sides to hang your stuff, and then it has a few cubbies where you can put, like, I don't know, more private things. And then it has these little shelves, so I just kind of kept all my bathroom stuff on shelves and, like, put some pants on the bottom over there. So I had shirts and more shirts, and then my... Um, intimates in there and then I kept blanket and more towels in that one shelf 
below my sweaters. And then on the top, there's a lot of space. So I just kept my suitcase up there for when I wanted to go home. My other roommate actually like had more baskets of clothes on top. So if the wardrobe is not big enough for you, then you could definitely put more clothes on top. So yeah, that's the wardrobe. Pretty big, honestly. Bigger than the closet I have here at home. So kind of sad. This is my bedding setup. I put a tapestry, of course, and lights. Yes, I'm basic. Um, I was pretty proud of my bed setup, though, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention there's two more drawers of storage under the bed. I just kept, like, workout clothes in one, pajamas in the other one. And I had a shoe rack under my bed. It was very convenient, honestly. I almost didn't get it, but I highly recommend a shoe rack if you have a lot of shoes. And then, okay, this is me showing all the bed space, I guess, that I have. I don't know why I did it like this. This is very awkward. Yes, I crawled under the bed so you could see, but it was not a good view. I kept like, I don't even know what I kept under there. This is my desk. Yes, it looks messy. No, it's not messy. It's just highly, highly organized. Okay. This is a chair that you get. Um, Basic. Yeah, I put a carpet on it to make it look nicer. You don't get a trash can, but you know a trash can for under your desk is very convenient. This is... This comes with the desk. Yes, this comes with the desk. Um, you just put like your school supplies in there or whatever the heck you want to put in there. But my top one just had junk, so that was actually messy. Um, we have a fridge that I bought and we split the cost. So now we're taking it to our apartment because we, you know, split the cost. And then we just had, you know, some more decorations or whatever. Actually, they were going to photograph our room, but they wanted us to take off all our decorations and they wanted a bare room, so we said never mind. Oh yeah, this is my vibe chair. So we'd have vibe mites in my room and we'd just vibe while sitting in that chair. It was really nice. This is my snack rack. Um, essentials, you know, snacks. Here was like kind of my, like my charging station and then below it, there's like a little hook that you could put your bags on. So I put my bags in my laundry basket there. Again, this is me trying to show under the bed. Um, I did a really bad job at that, but the bed, under the bed was pretty spacey. So, yeah, that is... Okay, I'm showing the charger station again. Yeah, there's like this little desk on the edge of the bed. Um, you just put all your cords and stuff there if you want. There's more outlets. My bed that I had had like a million outlets. Like, I was so privileged. I was the first one to come in the room, so I knew exactly which bed I wanted. The one with the outlets and the one with the windows. So yeah, pro tip, so come first. I, so I guess I forgot to mention that generally it's harder to get a room in the towers. So like I said, I had a triple in Middle Earth Towers, which were the new towers that were built for the incoming year that was coming. So we were the first ones to live there. Generally, second years do live there. So my hall was, I believe, 66% freshmen and the rest was second years. So, I mean, every other floor is different, but my floor was majority first years and it was the only floor like that so every other floor had more second years than first years we just got lucky me and my roommates i found my roommates on facebook by the way um we signed up the day the application came out we sent it and we made sure that every single preference on the housing form was the same for all of us and i think this strategy well i think why it worked for us is because it was easier for them to place us exactly where we wanted first and especially since we were one of the first profiles we were probably looking at because I mean, I would assume they go chronologically because how else would they do it? Um, not to say that this is like a foolproof plan, plan. This is just how we did it and we ended up getting the towers. So, I mean, that's something to think about. And it was kind of a trend going around like in our hall, like when we were talking, like I think majority of us filled out the application the first day. And we also at least had like one other person in mind that we wanted to room with that we put on the application. So keep that in mind, like... And that's for, like, anywhere that you want to live, that you want to get. Like, make sure you have, like, the set person already. Not to say that you have to go out and look for a roommate. Like, I met people who did random roommates and they were fine. But it's good to, like, know who you're going to live with because it doesn't always end up right. But that's not to say that people who put random did not get into, t into the towers. I met a few people on my hall who clicked random and they got into the tower, so... I mean, it really all depends, but um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where you live your first year. I think 
all around dorming is like a great experience like wherever you go or at least I hope it is at least at UCI I think it was like a really great experience for me and for everyone that I've talked to I haven't met a single person who like dreaded living <laughs> on campus um because you're kind of forced to make friends there so yeah basically that's how we got into the towers Unfortunately, we only lived there for two out of the three quarters that we <laughs> wanted to, but hey, we did get an apartment. If you have any questions later about how to get into the ECC apartments, that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, but again, it's a process and there's some tips and tricks that you can use to get into there. So stay tuned. And that's it for my room tour. Sorry if it was rushed. I tried to do it while my roommates were out of the room because one of them was moving out in like 30 minutes. So thank you for sticking around. Um, good luck to everyone who gets into college or hope you come to UCI. Hope you live, get to live in a dorm like this, just like I did. And hopefully you get to live out your full year here because it's really great. I love living here. I'd never change it. I, I wouldn't change my dorm or my roommates for the world. So, thank you.